Because mm -hmm. that way you just don't see my head. 10 out of 10. Yeah, do you think it's pretty good? Yeah. I think it's a good substitute beyond rice paper. Me too. I would never have thought of it. Yeah. Yeah. So you couldn't find the rice paper and you... No, I, I went to two grocery stores mm -hmm. and unless... I looked in the refrigerated section. I looked in, you know, a lot of where the soy sauce, the Asian, you know, kind of spices, herbs, you know, sauces and all that stuff. I could not find them. Unless I didn't look in the right area. I think and this so, is a good substitute. Yeah, I wanted to try that. Feels and I read that on mine too. Um, other people were using collard greens. So I said, why not? Wow, so, good job. And you perfected that. That's the right thing. Yeah, to I think so. Yeah. Okay, you want to give it another shot? Okay. Hi you guys, I'm Amy, Amy Roloff, and I'm in my little kitchen. Once again, I'm rushing around because I'm having people over. In fact, <coughs> I'm so excited to have Jacob and Isabel and see Mateo. It's been a while before Chris and I go on our big motorcycle trip. So uh, they are vegetarian and it gives me an opportunity to try something different and, um, you know, things that I kind of like as well but it's vegetarian. So I am going to attempt to make spring rolls. I could not find um, rice paper. I couldn't find them in two of the grocery stores that I went to and I couldn't go to a third one. So I thought, what is a big leaf? But I did not take into consideration of the stem is collard greens. And so I have collard greens here I just put a wet uh, paper towel over them and put them in the microwave because it's 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 a good leaf, but it can be kind of tough. And to help me roll it because of the very thick stem, it'll make it more palatable as I roll it up. I'll show you what I did there. So pretty much what you have on hand for vegetables. I've got some red pepper here, some basil. I thought a little bit of chives some bean sprouts, cut up uh, cucumbers, a little bit of red celery, and I thought, why not radishes? Oh yeah, basil here. And I'm gonna do carrots. Because I find carrots so hard to cut in sticks, I'm gonna just do hopefully like a thick peel, like a long, thick peel. We'll see how that works. Anyway, I hope I can roll these up in the collard greens. Okay, ready to go. Okay, let's see how this will work. And right now, all I'm doing is trying to get really long carrot strips. Because when I do this with a knife, they don't come out to be good carrot sticks. Thin enough. So I'm gonna do the best thing that I know how and it's to peel them in long strips. Because either the knife always slips or something. So I'm hoping these will work for the collard greens. We're gonna call these collard green spring roll. I'm pretty excited about it, tell you the truth. I'm hoping it'll work. And the one thing I love about this, it is all fresh vegetables. Usually stuff you may have on hand, depending on how you eat. So we're just gonna try and... That or I gotta get a sharper peeler. When you use a peeler so much, So the biggest thing about spring rolls, you know, is prepping all the vegetables. I mean, of course, unlike me, unless you're in a hurry, it's very doable. And the other thing that I'm gonna have with this is just some rice and beans. And if I have time, I am going to make straw, homemade, kind of like really quick, strawberry rhubarb jam 
and I'm gonna make a Pop-Tart for dessert. Won't that be kind of fun? Let's see if I can pull that one off. Okay. And then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna serve with the spring rolls is kind of like a peanut sauce. Very basic, a basic peanut sauce. I don't wanna go too crazy. But I thought with all the prep that I had to do here, I thought I'd roll these up and make sure it works because it do, if it doesn't, guess what we're gonna have? We're just gonna have like a salad, <laughs> which will be fine. And maybe I'll just drizzle it with peanut sauce. Okay, let's see if this is gonna be enough carrot. I'll put this in a bowl. No, I'll put it in a plate. It'll be easier for me to grab it. Okay, so I've got some carrots, a little bit of radishes, red cabbage, Cucumbers, see they're kind of sliced up in little sticks. I have some uh, bean sprouts, some basil, that'll give it like a little nice herb. A little bit of chives, just because I had it, and some red pepper. I might need some more red pepper. So this is what I did here. I uh, trimmed off the big stem. I just, on some of them, I just trimmed around the edge just to kind of make it cleaner. Um, and then if you use a very sharp knife, this stem is kind of thick. So just kind of, it's, you have to really pay attention. Uh, just uh, cut as much of this stem off as possible. Because if you don't, then it's very hard to roll. And I'm really hoping that because I kind of steamed this in the microwave, I might have to redo it, that this will turn out okay. So what are we gonna start with? I'm going to start with a basil or two, put it at the edge here. How about a few red peppers, a little bit of carrots. We're just going to kind of line them up and layer it. I'll see how this one goes. I'm a little worried at how thick I make it because this is a smaller leaf. So I got two little cucumber sticks, maybe this little short one. I'm gonna put a little bit of cabbage. The cabbage really didn't come in strips, you guys. It kind of just came in chunks, so hopefully this will work. I don't know, maybe I picked too small of a cabbage. Okay, that's good enough. Some bean sprouts, kind of lay that on the cabbage here. Oh yeah, a little bit of chives. Okay, did I include everything? I think I did. Did I add a little radish? We'll do a couple of radishes. Okay, I think I might have to take a picture of this. Like, it all laid out and then when I roll it up, okay? Okay, just to give you an idea, because everything may seem far away, but my collard greens, pepper, carrots, this is my first one before I roll it up. So we're making collard green spring rolls. I guess you could call those veggie roll ups. Bean sprouts, basil, chives, peppers, cucumbers, radishes, and cabbage. So, okay, that is my little setup here. Okay, people, let's see what I can do. I'm hoping, because this is a little smaller one, I don't think I can fold it. I'm just gonna kind of shove the vegetables in. And there we go. Should I cut this one in half? Let's see what it looks like cut in half. Okay, here we go. Whoa. I don't know how you. So does that look good? Oh, 
I'm gonna try and see if I can put it in this bowl. Standing up. We're just gonna kind of put the seam side against the edge here. Oh, you guys, so far so good. Look at me, I am pretty excited. Okay, this one I probably won't cut in half. This is a small leaf. Let's do a bigger one. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, some, ba some basil. And if you wanna use another ba you know, leaf thing, that's fine. I think I'm definitely gonna have to cut up another red pepper. Some chives, a little bit of chives there. Man, now I can't wait to make the peanut sauce. I'm gonna put in a couple of cucumbers, maybe. Some carrots. Just kind of line it all up, depending on your leaf. You don't need to go to the very edge, but maybe you do. A little bit of radishes, a couple of them. Some purple cabbage. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting the bean sprouts. Now I might have stuffed these, I probably could have stuffed them a little bit more, but I wanna be careful, because I just want it to work. So here we go. Kind of fold in just a little bit of your side leaf, if you can, if it's big enough. Like that little one, I wasn't able to do that. Okay. I think I can. Okay, did I do it? Okay, here we go. We're gonna cut this. Oh, where's the end? Okay, here's the end. Okay, here they are. I, I'm sure um, the rice paper wraps may have been a little easier because they're a little more palatable than this, but you know, I think this will be I have a good crunch to it. And besides, collard greens are good for you. Lots of vitamins, so why not? Okay, where's the end? Okay, probably should have tightened this up a little more. I made this for Jacob and Isabel because I don't think Chris would like this. I'm not sure. <laughs> But I hope, if you can see me here, I hope that he would give me a try. So this end here, I haven't figured out how to like keep that closed, but we're just gonna put it next to the side. And if, you know, obviously serving people this, just kind of give them a heads up. Gosh, that looks so pretty. Okay, oh, I'm so excited for this. I hope they are too. I'll have to remember to maybe get a picture. Oh, I think they come. I think here they are. Hello, hello. I'm usually never finished on time before everyone comes, but that's okay. Are you here? Oh, okay. I even circled the block for 10 minutes. Pardon? I even circled the block for 10 minutes. Why? Oh, you didn't have to do that. You know, I thought about calling you. I'm doing a little video here, so feel free to talk or whatever if you want. Um, I felt like calling you and saying, you know, you guys could come over earlier. Well, he was asleep. But I have that. I had a luncheon earlier today. And I knew I was going to be racing home. But look at these. Are oh. these just so cute? Those are pretty. At least coming in the picture. We might have to sit down on the stool. But aren't those oh. neat? Yeah, those are good. 
I'm so excited. What are we dipping them in? Well, we're going to dip them in peanut sauce. Nice. In fact, do you want to make it? Sure. Is he sleeping or do you no, need No, he's awake. Okay. I've got some hummus and pita bread there nice. for a little snack if you want some. Hi. Are you okay? I know. Hi, Mateo. <laughs> okay, guys. You know what? I'm going to finish up the rest of these and I'll be right back. Okay, hi you guys, I am back. Look at these spring rolls. I showed them to Jacob and Izzy and I think they're pretty excited. Let me turn my rice down. I don't want it to boil over. So we're gonna have spring rolls and then we're just gonna have rice and beans with a little bit of ginger and cilantro. And um, I might even chop up a little bit of basil in that too because I have some left over and that's gonna be our kind of dinner. And then I'm gonna make strawberry, rhubarb, jam, Pop-Tart. But right now we gotta make the peanut sauce. So I'm just gonna put the peanut sauce in this little bowl, I hope. So I have about one cup of peanut butter, creamy peanut butter. I hope I took the right bowl for this. And I tell you, I'm hoping I like this peanut sauce because I am a huge fan of peanut butter, right, Jacob? Yeah. I love peanut butter. So. I didn't know that's what. Oh no, I love it. Love peanut butter. Okay, then we're going to do just a splash. Get a little bit of salt in there. Mm. A fish sauce. I'm just doing a couple of dribbles. I do have tamari but I don't have it open. And unless I'm doing a much bigger, you know, kind of, how should you say, an Asian dinner or, or, or those kind of flavors in my dinner, I'm just gonna go ahead and use soy sauce. So we're just gonna add in, what do I have here? See, see my notes? Those are my notes. Oh, about a tablespoon or two. So that, and then we're gonna add in a little bit of poison. This is gonna be flavorful. And it'll also add just a little bit of sweetness. So I'm gonna taste this peanut sauce first before I go ahead and add in, boy, I think I'm almost done here. Maybe it won't be quite a, te a tablespoon. Gonna add in a little bit of that. I've got two cloves. I tried to mince it up as best I could. Two cloves of garlic. And we're gonna add just a little bit of heat. And we're gonna add in some chili sauce. What is this? Chili garlic sauce. Garlic plus chili garlic sauce. sauce. If I can get this thing open, I might have to, um, I tell you, man, the older I get, I can't even open up anything. Can you help? No, I got it. And Izzy over here is chopping up my strawberries. I love strawberries. So that I can finish up and make this pop tart. Okay. Now, I'm not going to add a lot of this chili garlic sauce because it does add in heat. So, we don't want to get too crazy about it. I don't know where my teaspoon is, so I'm just going to add it just a little bit. Ooh, that's too much. Maybe half a teaspoon. If you're unsure, just go a half a teaspoon. And then um, you can always add more after you stir all of this up. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some uh, lime zest and juice.
Oh, do you hear Mateo back there? Ooh what are you saying, Mateo? He's grown up so big, you guys. He's just so adorable. All my kids are adorable. Just love it. <laughs> so I'm just doing the juice of half a lime. So I'm going to get a fork and mix all of this in. I think I might warm up my hot water here a little bit. I think it got cooled down. Because you might have to thin this out, of course. I can't wait until I can just hand in some of So we're just going to stir this up. I think I'm gonna wanna add a little bit of all of this stuff in here. Because yeah. look at this, it's very thick. So I'm gonna microwave this just a little bit because you really want hot water because that way it'll melt, I guess for the lack of words, melt the peanut butter a little bit, but basically what you're doing is thinning it out. So I'll be back. Okay, so here is my stuff over here because you guys probably didn't see it all, but this is the mixture. It's kind of thick, but look at this mess over here. Oh dear. Probably I'm in a hurry because I, Jacob and Isabel are here and I was hoping it'd be more ahead, but you know what? It's all gonna taste good. Okay, you guys, what a mess. Messy, messy, messy. But Jacob knows that's how his mom rolls sometime. You know, you can't worry about it. Oh, you know what? Let me taste this. The messes can wait, right? Yes, messes can wait, but your people cannot. Okay, I think it needs a little something. Not too sure what it is. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of, I'm gonna add a little bit more soy sauce in here. Let's see if I can get the rest of this hoisin sauce out of here. Like I said, that Chili sauce definitely added a tartness to it. Because if you use plain peanut butter, obviously it doesn't have the sweetness to it. But to tell you the truth, I don't think I'm really gonna add the honey. I'm just gonna add just a little bit more of this chili sauce in here. Let's see if that'll... And before I add in anything else, I think you guys are gonna have to wait for the strawberry rhubarb tart because my kids are here. So I, I've got some leftover fixins for a strawberry rhubarb cheesecake parfait with a cookie crumble. It is so good, you guys. Okay, let's add in a little bit of this water. Just gonna add in a little bit at a time. And I'll show you guys the consistency here in a sec. Definitely more. So you may, you start off with maybe two thirds of a cup. But uh, start off with one third of a cup of hot water. Stir it around, see if you need more. It looks like I'm going to. And be careful how you stir it because it takes a minute for the peanut butter to kind of mix in with the water. Go. 
Boy, I'm just splashing all over here. So I still think it's a little thick. So to me, you're definitely gonna need two thirds of hot water. And basically what we're doing is just thinning it out. See, I tell you guys not to spit, uh, stir it so quick so it doesn't spill out, and look at what I do. Silly me. I'm gonna get another spoon here and taste it. You want a spoon and taste it? Sure. Does it need a little more heat? Mm. What do you think it needs? Does it need something? No. Or it's just very, it is very peanut buttery. So. Is that what peanut butter? No, it's good. Maybe I should add a little more sauce, a uh, little fish sauce maybe, or yeah, maybe some more salt. salt. Yeah, because it's so little sweet. I but think I that's really partly good. the ho hosen sauce. Poison. Hosen? Poison? It's <laughs> <laughs> really good. I'm going to get another spoon here and taste it. You want a spoon and taste it? Sure. Does it need a little more heat? Mm. What do you think it needs? Does it need something? No. Or it's just very, it is very peanut buttery. So. Is that what peanut butter? No, it's good. Maybe I should add a little more sauce, a uh, little fish sauce maybe, or yeah, maybe some more salt. salt. Yeah, because it's so little sweet. I think I that's really partly good. the ho hosen sauce. Poison. Hosen? Poison? It's <laughs> <laughs> really good. I don't want it too hot. A little spicy. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I think once it's thinner and the consistency is right, then it'll be perfect. Because I think now it's a little thick, so it's still like peanut butter. But honestly, I get take out from this place and it's sauce is pretty thick. It's Pardon? The peanut sauce of this Thai place I go to is yeah. pretty thick. Is it? Yeah. So I, I need to thin it out just a little bit. But there's some type of oil or something that I put. Huh. I didn't find that in a lot of the recipes I looked at. So what the peanut sauce that I'm making is a combination of stuff that I like and what I've read. Okay, I think this will be good now. Jacob is over there entertaining Mateo. So he can't have a bite yet. Okay, guys, I'm going to give this a taste so that you guys can all see. Here's one. This one I had to double up anyway. Let me cut off the ends. Oops. Okay, there's my spring roll. Here's my peanut sauce. Let's give this a roll. <laughs> okay. See, you just do. Just dip it in there. Mm. 
I love these. These are so good. They're so nutritious. I mean, all, really, all you're eating is a lot of your greens, your vegetables. Collard greens has a lot of um, vitamins in it. Now, if you use a rice paper, obviously rice paper will be thinner. So the collard greens, it may feel a little thick to you because it's a heavier, leafy, you know, thing. If you want to use another lettuce that you can actually roll up, I mean, I think that'll work too. I just chose collard, <clears throat> collard greens because, hey, but I don't know. I'm kind of loving it. Do you want to get a taste? Yeah. You want to taste? I know I had to double this up because it's kind of ripped and everything, but. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Do you think? The sauce is perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know, I think they can only see half your body. Oh. There we go. Mm-hmm. Because that way you just don't see my head. 10 out of 10. Yeah, do you think it's pretty good? Yeah. I think it's a good substitute beyond rice paper. Me too. I would never have thought of it. Yeah, yeah. So you couldn't find the rice paper and you... No, I, th I went to two grocery stores mm -hmm. and unless... I looked in the refrigerated section. I looked in, you know, a lot of where the soy sauce, the Asian, you know, kind of spices, herbs, you know, sauces and all that stuff. I could not find them. Unless I didn't look in the right area. I think and this so, is a good substitute. Yeah, I wanted to try that. Feels and I read that online too. Yay. Um, other people were using collard greens. So I said, why not? Wow. So, Good job. And you perfected that. That's the right. Yeah, you know. I think so. Yeah. Okay. You want to give it another shot? Okay. Dollop me up. Okay, guys. These are collard green spring rolls with a nice peanut sauce. So hopefully you'll give these a try. With all the far, uh, fresh vegetables that will be coming out this summer, go to your farmer's market, support your farms, your farmers, and um, really get uh, you know whatever fresh vegetables you like. One of the things I would have added to the spring roll would have been uh, avocado, but I was too much in a hurry and forgot. So right now I'm gonna get the rest of our dinner ready so that Jacob, Isabel, and I can sit down and chit chat, visit, and see my beautiful, wonderful grandson, Mateo. So anyway, give this a try. Oh yeah, you can find this recipe over at Amy Roloff's little channel, uh, Amy Roloff's little kitchen on my YouTube channel and I would love it if you subscribe because I'm gonna try and do some other things over there too besides just cooking with you. Anyway, spring rolls. So go to Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. Until next time, see you later.